the Dream Team. In 1992, the United States men's basketball team, also known as the Dream Team, defeated all of their opponents by an average of 44 points at the Summer Olympics in Barcelona, Spain. They were coached by Chuck Daly and were led by the standout players like Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson, and Charles Barkley. After the Dream Team's outstanding performance, the team's legacy could be seen through increased teamwork and the increased popularity of basketball around the globe. The International Olympic Committee eliminated the necessity of amateurism in 1971, allowing athletes to receive time away from work during training and competition. In addition, athletes were permitted to receive sponsorships from national organizations, sports organizations, and private businesses for the first time. In 1986, professional athletes were given permission by the International Federation of Basketball to compete in each sport of the Olympic Games. For instance, in the 1992 Olympic Games, the United States were allowed to field a basketball team comprised of well-paid NBA stars called the Dream Team. The first 10 players of the team were officially selected on September 21, 1991. Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen of the Chicago Bulls, John Stockton and Carl Malone of the Utah Jazz, Magic Johnson of the Los Angeles Lakers, Larry Bird of the Boston Celtics, Patrick Ewing of the New York Knicks, Chris Mullen of the Golden State Warriors, David Robinson of the San Antonio Spurs, and Charles Barkley of the Philadelphia 76ers. Clyde Drexler of the Portland Trailblazers and Christian Leitner of Duke University were also added to the team on May 12, 1992. The head coach was Chuck Daly, who was assisted by Lenny Wilkins, P.J. Carlismo, and Mike Krzyzewski, who is still coaching the Duke Blue Devils. At 4.30 on July 26, 1992, the United States started their first step to the gold medal. They had plowed through the preliminary round and were now in the quarterfinals. They played Puerto Rico on August 4th and beat them 115-77. to They advanced to the semifinals playing Lithuania on August 6th. The Dream Team played Croatia for the gold medal on August 8th, beating them 117-85. to The standout players were Magic Johnson, Michael Jordan, and Charles Barkley. Magic had directed the team to its wonderful works, making him the team captain. Magic may have not scored the most or had the most steals, but what made him outstanding was his leadership out on the court. He carries the award for most assists because he was willing to give up one of his shots for his teammates to score and get all the glory. That's what made him a leader. Johnson received the Interpernal Leadership Award at the Council of Urban Professionals in 2010. Barkley's average points per game were 18. Field goal shooting percentage was 71.1%, and his shot was 87.5% from behind the three-point line. While seven Dream Team members scored in double digits, Barkley set a U.S. Olympic single game scoring record with 30 points as the USA crushed Brazil, 127-83. to Michael Jordan led the team in steals with 37 in the tournament. He averaged 14.9 points per game scoring only second to Barkley. Perhaps the reason the Dream Team is so successful was their very visible show of teamwork. The United States was just coming off a very disappointing bronze medal finish in Seoul. They knew they had to win because everybody was counting on them. They played as a team, unlike nowadays when all you see is one-man shows. They had no reason to try and outdo their team. They were all there for the same reason, to win for their country and they knew they couldn't do it alone. Charles Barkley and Michael Jordan were key leaders in the Dream Team's domination. Charles Barkley led his team in points scored, averaging 18 per game. Michael Jordan had 37 steals during the Olympics, leading the team. The team's overall field goal percentage was about 59%. Chuck Daly did not call a timeout in the whole Olympics. They beat their opponents by an average margin of 43.8 points. The Dream Team inspired many and impressed all by the show they put on in Barcelona. Never before and never again will there be such a team. 11 Hall of Famers in the most magnificent assembly of athletic talent ever gathered together on one roster in any sport or at any time. It's mission to reclaim for the U.S. the Men's Olympic Basketball Championship, which it did. With a roster filled with the most illustrious players of their era, the 1992 U.S. Olympic team became forever known as the Dream Team. We wanted to show everybody that a collection of all-star players could come together and play as a team. Oh, we were passing so beautiful, cutting, moving, setting picks. Nobody cared who got the points. Nobody cared whose name was in the paper. All we cared about was winning the game and dominating. Winning their eight games by an average of 44 points, 
the 1992 Dream Team left a legacy that still endures two decades later. It was special for all of us. Doing the things necessary to not only win games, but put our stamp on the game, I thought it was pretty incredible. And indeed, sort of the untold story is really how much they inspired the world to play basketball. It had an impact on me when I was 12 years old. Made you want to be a, a basketball player, made you want to emulate what they were doing and what they were about. That's why every other team since should never have the word dream associated with it. That was one of a kind. The dream team also sparked an interest in basketball that continues to affect the NBA. The league is now a $5.5 billion industry and arguably the most international popular sport behind soccer. Springfield, Massachusetts is basketball's birthplace, but the modern NBA game was born in Barcelona. Since 1992, the league has played about 150 international basketball games and its contests have been televised in more than 200 countries prior to the early 1980s. Johnson and Bird helped save the NBA from its tape delayed and drug addled nightmares of the 1970s. Elite companies looked elsewhere to find athletes or celebrities to promote their brands. The Dream Team also changed advertising forever, a worldwide recognition that began in the 1980s and reached its apex with the 1992 Olympics. They proved their markability by participating in commercials. Just head over to McDonald's for these exciting USA Olympic basketball collector cups. Some are more exciting than others. Some better looking. Get one free. Free. When you buy any large soft drink. Large, like me. All of them have exciting action graphics and player stats. Not bad. For a limited time, team one up with large fries and a big beefy triple cheeseburger, and you've got yourself the gold medal meal. What you want is what you get. At McDonald's today. Gold medal? I'll take two. By doing these commercials, it made the players very famous all the way around the world. They weren't just basketball players anymore, they were superstars. Even after the Dream Team, all Olympic fans were dying to see who was going to play in the USA basketball team. Being so popular, the players lost the team status the Dream Team had. It was all about themselves. The incoming USA team were just cocky and they wanted to show off. For some players, it wasn't even about the love for the game anymore. It was about being famous and the money that came with it. The question most people ask is if they weren't so popular, would they play like a team? Would they be more concerned with playing the game than their sponsorship contracts? That's something we can research all we want, but we'll never be able to find out. The Dream Team had the most success at the Olympics. They played better than any basketball team in the history of Olympic teams. They had outstanding teamwork. You could see the team's unity from your television screen. None of the players needed to try and outshow their teammates. They came to the Olympics to win, and they knew that the secret to success was teamwork, and people noticed that. Sponsors asked the team to do commercials and advertisements. The Dream Team left more than just a legacy behind. They changed the game of basketball. They made other NBA stars want to win, and gave them the drive for success. Charles Barkley has said that many successful international players, like Tony Parker and Paul Gasol, have told him that their love of basketball started with the Dream Team. The Dream Team brought basketball to a whole other level for countries around the globe. Officially, they were the USA Men's Basketball Olympic Team. They'll forever be known by two words never printed on their jerseys or warm-ups, but used to describe the squad then and ever since. The Dream Team. <laughs>